Welcome to another video lesson. This is part 2 of a video series about punctuation. So, if you want to watch part 1, you can click the link somewhere around this screen. Soon, there will be part 3 as well. Quotation marks or inverted commas can take two forms, double or single quotation marks. Double quotation marks. Double quotation marks are used to highlight or draw attention to a special word or phrase in a sentence. Try not to use the word and too much when you are speaking. They are used to enclose a quotation or something someone said. Tom said, I am tired. Here we start with the attribution followed by a comma. Then we put what they said between quotation marks. We keep the punctuation, be it a period, a question mark or an exclamation mark, inside the quotation marks. This time, we start with the quotation marks. We keep the comma inside of the quotation marks. And then we give the attribution, Tom said, or, said Tom. Don't forget to end the sentence with a period. Single quotation marks. Use single quotation marks inside double quotation marks when you have a quotation within a quotation. David told me, Sarah said this will never work. In this example, we have a primary quote that was said by David, and a second quote that was said by Sarah. And in this case we enclose the main quote in double quotation marks. And the second quote in single quotation marks. Note that the British Convention follows an opposite rule, as we use single quotation marks with the main quote and double quotation marks with the second quote. A colon Use a colon to introduce an important or dramatic idea. There is only one thing I need. Pizza. I was so angry. My car had been stolen. Use a comma to introduce a list after a complete sentence. There are three things you need to make pizza. Dough, tomato sauce and cheese. Use a comma to introduce examples. Here are some examples of conjunctions. And, but, or, because. Semicolon. Use a semicolon to link two independent clauses instead of a comma and a conjunction. He knew everything about me. I knew everything about him. Use a semicolon before adverbs like however and finally. The rain stopped. However, we still didn't go out. Use a semicolon to separate items in a long, complex list where there are lots of commas. I called Khaled, the carpenter, Sama, the electrician, and Yasser, the pipefitter. Round brackets or parentheses. 
We use parentheses to enclose extra information that can be left out. David Cameron, the former British Prime Minister, resigned from office in 2016. Note that if the inserted information is not a complete sentence, do not capitalize the first letter of the section between the brackets, and don't put punctuation at the end. I had an accident with the new car. Shh! My father doesn't know yet. Here the extra information is a complete sentence, so we capitalize the first letter and put the proper punctuation at the end of it. Use parentheses to add your own comments as writer of the text. The film, which was very exciting, was the best part of the evening. Use parentheses to indicate plural or singular. Please leave your mobile phone or phones at the door. Use them to define abbreviations. The matter will be decided by the IOC International Olympic Committee. Use them to include short background information such as dates, percentages and financial information. Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan, 1918-2004, was the founding father of the UAE. She paid a lot, $400, for the shoes. Square brackets Use square brackets to explain a direct quote without changing the quote. He, the police officer, can't prove they did it. You can use brackets to add something into a sentence that was taken out by the writer. When the original sentence reads, He drove 60 on the highway. And you think it's a bit confusing. You may then want to edit it and add something to help the reader understand the sentence. He drove 60 miles per hour on the highway. Braces or curly brackets. In formal writing, braces are used for math equations, music chords, and computer programming commands. They are used to indicate a series of equal choices. Pick a color, red, green, yellow, brown, to paint the leaf. In informal writing, braces, like brackets or parentheses, can be used anywhere. Practice Punctuate the following sentences. <laughs> 